So Mark, what is one key selection embedding? Well, first let's talk about selection embedding, and then I'll explain what one key selection embedding is. Sure. So if I have a block of code, and let's say I want to wrap this up in a try finally block, for example, I can hit the code rush key and choose embed selection, and then from there I can choose, like, for example, a try finally block like that. That's selection embedding. Nice. So what is one key selection embedding? One key selection embedding allows me to have that same starting point right there where I've selected the block of code I want to embed and then hit only a single key to embed it. So for example, if I want to put it in a try finally block, I just hit the letter F. It's not control F, it's not alt shift F, it's just the letter F all by itself. And that will put it inside of a try finally block. So you skip through all of that menu that you don't now have to use and you are now quicker as a result. Yes, that's right. And these are for things you do all the time. If I want to put this in a try catch, I just hit the letter C for a try catch like that. So we're asking, do you want these turned on? Okay, these, these things that might, for some people who are not ready for it, who are not expecting it, might annoy them ever so slightly. We're asking, do you want us to do this? Yeah, you know, we turn this off and make things work the way you expect them to work. That's right. Let me show you one other one that I find really useful. So sometimes I'm uh, here, for example, but what I really want to do is I want this whole thing. In other words, I just decided, you know what? This whole block here, I want this whole block to be conditionally run, this block right here. Yep. So I'll start by pasting or, or typing in my if statement here, and then what will happen is I'll inevitably get this, but what I really want is the whole thing to be inside of a block, yep. a brace block. So I just hit the letter B for brace block right here, and it gives me that. Yeah, very nice, very handy. As you say, these letters, they stand for exactly what you want to have. So block is B, try finally is F, try catch is C. These variations are fairly intuitive, but if you're not expecting them, obviously that would be uh, slightly more awkward. That's right. If you want to see those shortcuts, bring up the options. Actually, there's a faster way to get to it here. Let me close this down. In CodeRush, we've got a shortcuts menu item here. If we choose that, it'll bring up the options page, but select the shortcuts page. And so you can see that it's here inside of the search we can type in embed and you can see all of the shortcuts that it gives you. Very nice. So here you can see, yes, F is going to give us a try finally. F there and B. C is going to give us a try catch. T is going to give us a try catch finally. And there's B right there to give you a block. Now you can add your own, but this option only affects these four right here. It'll either add those or disable those four. They're the ones that you're likely to hit by accident. And if you weren't expecting this particular functionality, that might prove annoying. So we give you the option here. One, just one other thing, if we want to go a little bit more in depth, let's say you want to add an embedding that's not one of these, or how do you know what the parameter is here? That might be your question. Sure. So if you come over here and type embed, this time we're going to search for the actual page for selection embeddings, and here's where the selection embeddings are defined. So here, for example, try catch, its name is try catch. This is the parameter that's passed in the shortcuts page. So if you wanted to add your own selection embedding, you could do it here, give it a unique name, and then back on the shortcuts page, you could then specify that name in the parameter for the embed. Yeah. Okay? Excellent. If you want to learn more about CodeRush and all its features, check out the documentation on our website. Thanks for watching.